Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good and evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, the season finale, season, <laughs> the final episode of uh, off, the off the record talk show. So, Danya, do you want to give us all a brief of uh, you know who we are and what sure, off the record is all sure. about? Sure, sure. We are Brandon and Danya. We have been married for three and a half years. Brandon's from Mangalore, and I'm from Kerala. Uh, we met in college, and we've been happily married for three and a half years. Uh, to tell about off the record off the record is a talk show hosted by mfc bangalore that is missionary families of christ bangalore and uh, this is hosted on the mfc bangalore facebook page and uh, what is this talk show all about we invite couples just like us who uh, are here to share their their lives uh, very honest sharings their struggles in their marriage in their individual lives and how they have experienced the love of christ and you know the entire experience of their transformation is what we get to hear from them so far we've had five couples on the show uh, would you like to give us a quick recap sabha yes we'll do a quick recap uh, but before we uh, go ahead brothers and sisters uh, this today being our final episode promises to be a, a really power packed one uh, yeah. an exciting one and truly truly inspiring uh sharing that we are about to hear from the couples that we have um so before we go ahead uh please feel free to type your comments in the chat yes i can see a few of you are here raju sheldon Hello, raju. good evening Hi, guys sheldon. thanks for joining uh so please keep the chat going it helps us know if uh, you know if you are facing any technical glitches and if you are able to hear us clearly also uh do please do share this link uh with your facebook friends with your whatsapp friends uh with your friends on uh with your colleagues on call right now tell them to stop their calls and join this uh it's friday it's friday it's friday is the end of the week and it's uh, going to be a great weekend so they don't want to miss out on this all right so uh let's do a quick recap for all of you who are new and don't know what this uh, uh talk show is all about and you know the kind of episodes that we've had so far uh well brothers and sisters we've had uh five episodes so far we've had five uh sharers rather five couples uh and on the first day we had uh, uh we had a, a, bi- a, a you know an awesome goal scored by uh, our wonderful couple renaldo uh they are called uh, aldo and raina and you know right here on the chat we renamed them as renaldo uh they shared about their uh, issues that they had financially and uh, how the unforgiveness that came out of that financial struggle um impacted them but at the end of the day you know god saves all and uh, brought them that healing that they were uh, you know desperately seeking uh the second uh, day we had our wonderful uh, raju and santoshi the veterans and the cute couple uh, raju and santoshi uh, shared their lives about their marital issues that all of us keep facing on a day to day basis but uh, they talked to us about the brokenness the fights uh, but then they also talked about how love was lacking and uh, they found christ through the cls uh, that we will talk about later uh, they found christ uh, later on in their lives and the love of god really helped them uh, find uh, accept that love and also love each other uh, subsequently and today they are blessed with two beautiful girls uh, on the third day we had uh, nelson and tina uh, nelson talked a lot about um, you know the hurt that he faced in his childhood with respect to his dad and uh, how that was manifesting in his life in his marriage um, but praise god uh, he found the father's love he found god the father's love he accepted the god the father's love and and that truly transformed him that healed him uh, and the beauty of that is today he bears the same fruit uh, from the father's love into his marriage and as a father exactly. to uh, as, as a father himself to little milani yes um, and then on day 4 we had uh, donald and sharel uh, donald and sharel talking to us about uh, how life was uh, as a cradle catholic uh, like myself on spot a time how life was as a cradle catholic and how life is today uh with christ as the center of their lives uh so it was also very very beautiful uh, uh, uh beautiful sharing and uh, uh lovely to have them on our show and on the last on, on yesterday we had um our good friends vinod and reema uh who had a, a, an initial hiccup in joining our live but uh, they came through nonetheless with a wonderful wonderful sharing uh where they shared about how their priorities uh individually and as a family were misplaced um in the sense that they made themselves god they made their jobs god uh but through the cls through the christian life seminar they found 
they realize that you know god loves us so much that god makes us his first priority and they took that decision as a family and as individuals to make god their first priority uh, and uh, it was a very heart touching uh, sharing where they talked about uh, how they have centered christ uh, in their lives the first priority and how that's also impacting their children uh, so praise god for these wonderful testimonies in case you need more details about these testimonies in case you are eager to speak to your interest uh, to watch Uh, the recordings of all these episodes on our facebook page that is the missionary families of christ bangalore facebook page or uh, it's live on youtube it's on uh, it's on youtube sorry uh, it's on uh, the msc india's youtube page so do watch out for that as well all right now let us go ahead and uh, introduce give a short introduction of uh, uh, our our next couple they are the dynamic the charismatic the high on energy the high on smile uh oh, you'll see. couple you'll see you'll see that yeah uh we have today as many of you may have seen the poster for today's uh, episode we have with us today marshall and cheryl who are from bangalore who are going to be sharing their lives and how god has worked in their lives um to tell you a little bit about them marshall and cheryl they are a very uh, they're very yo couple you know they're very cool couple uh they are um, Uh, I want to say they're like us, <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, no, we're not like them. We're not as cool as they are. But uh, they are two. Uh, uh, the two uh, people who love to travel. They often, uh, well, they used to at least. Often used to go on long journeys on their bikes to the Himalayas. And what a wonderful, what a beautiful, what a romantic place to be. And uh, today they've been blessed uh, with their daughter. Today. Uh, not today, <laughs> but recently. <laughs> not recently but recently they've been blessed with their daughter Arona who was also welcomed into the catholic church through baptism uh, some time back so uh, they promised to offer us a beautiful beautiful testimony about their lives uh, so sit back relax and enjoy and uh, with that another sh- reminder please do share this link the live link to your friends on facebook whatsapp wherever they are get them to join us today uh, with that sh- i think we should add them in baba yes let's do that Uh, let's do that are they here i hope they are here are they here one second Mm-mm-mm. i don't think they are in yet but let's just see a small prayer for them and hopefully if they are here we can listen to their uh, exciting story oh yeah i can see them right sheldon's got his popcorn ready so <laughs> that's awesome oh yeah there there hello hi everyone hello hello hi guys how are you doing it's friday i know it's friday <laughs> It's one and the same thing. So, yes, excited to share. So, or excited to be live as well to share our testimony to all of them. Yeah, people have got their popcorns ready, and I'm I'm guessing some of them have their dinners ready, watching this live. So, three D glasses also, by the way. With three D glasses, so it's going to be a. I think they're expecting an action-packed testimony by our two uh, cool by our two couples. Season finale, couple shares. Yeah, we, we've been alive a long time, but this is our first live, so we don't know how we're gonna do this. So hopefully, we don't mess up. <laughs> no, no, I think you guys will be cool. I think you guys will be good. So you know what? Uh, yeah. Let's let's ease let's ease you guys in, right? Uh, so why don't you guys go ahead and uh, you introduce know, for all those who are new over here, why don't you just introduce yourselves to us? Sure. Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, thanks for listening and joining. Uh, this is Marshall, and this is my beautiful wife, Sharon. Hey everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, so we have been married for three years now, and uh, Brendan already gave an introduction that we love traveling, and Imaria is a place that we always go. So looking forward to travel with Aruna. So waiting for the years to pass by. Awesome, yep. awesome. All right. So Marshall and Cheryl, you're our last couple on this show, but definitely not the least. So go ahead and tell us your story off the record. Sure. Thank you. Uh, to get started, um, I had a very turbulent and a uh, you know troubled childhood, filled with a lot of abuse. And um, you know, uh, if you if you take a book about 
abuse and you know read it i could match with that like at least 90% or more right so that was my uh, past and uh, because of that i could hardly feel uh, you know all the good things like happiness peace joy or confidence i used to always be low on confidence and um, yeah i was very depressed impulsive and angry kid all the time and i wouldn't even know why you know i thought it's something to do with you know like this is how this is normal you know that's how i used to think and uh, yeah because of these experiences uh, i used to you know i mean like have this um you know a mysterious hate to everything you know be it institutions be it society uh, be it authority figures like parents teachers uh, relatives elders or even god for that matter right so um, yeah because you know with, with this whole, with this whole uh, state of being devoid of love and care i thought you know god is just a delusion you know like this doesn't uh, he doesn't really exist at that time right and um, so I, I always had this perennial feeling of you know being incomplete and uh, because of that i tried to um, you know fill myself with a lot of things you know uh, lived a pretty debaucherous life and uh, you know i feel good um, reading about st augustine and you know like all those my kind of saints you know so those are the places where i find solace and comfort and uh, yeah so running i mean one thing i realized is running behind everything you know uh, nothing could fulfill you you know everything and everyone none of it could fulfill you none of it can give you a, a sense of purpose right um, yeah thankfully you know uh, for the past decade you know my transformation started not just um, you know uh, spiritual but also physical you know talk to people who know me before 20 uh, 2010 and they would tell you they wouldn't even recognize me right now uh, even from a physical standpoint right i i lost close to like 27 kilos right um, so yeah thanks i mean even after the transformation i did have a lot of relapses but gratefully i always felt i always you know fell forward i didn't really you know like there was some progress mm-hmm. so yeah that's about uh, you know our journey wow wow uh marshall i really like how even as you share about your past which is completely broken you you still have a smile on your face the so both of you i was literally thinking the same thing <laughs> it's amazing that the joy is still on your face in spite yeah, of mean, going back uh into your past which is a lot of darkness yeah especially when you're reliving it uh, but, but then also i i mean we can't wait to hear what happened but before that uh, tell us also about you know so this is possibly before your marriage So tell us about your life as a married couple also. Yeah, sure. So we have been married for three years, and our journey was fruitful as per the worldly standards. But each one of us had our own baggage to carry, and you know we were trying to see how we could be accommodative, how we could complement each other, and. we might be thinking that we can do it on our own but you know we always needed that backup we wanted someone who tell us or be accountable for to tell us how we are doing as a couple because everybody is writing their own ways so things have been good as a couple and you know um, we have blessed with baby 3 months back and that's the fruit god gave for us yeah 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 and uh, i mean given the introduction i gave you know it was a uphill task for me to like really love and care you know um, Yeah. though you know it was a slow and a steady process it was kind of uh, you know i wasn't really very sensitive to cheryl and her needs you know sometimes i would be a little you know disruptive or i would be a little you know insensitive right and um, yeah even before cls you know um, uh, especially me personally you know or you know as a couple i was in a very dark spot you know like i used to binge watch a lot of movies you know uh, the regular stress and anxiety would take over you know like all the news and you know even if you're away from the news you know like you can't run away from it especially the last you know uh, first quarter of the year and um, yeah i would i would aimlessly watch movies and things like that like pretty late or maybe even early like 10 am 8 am you know uh, without any aim without any uh, sense of nothing right and um, Yeah, I mean, and stress eating and was another thing. You know, I used to be a glutton, just eat, just eat and watch, like you were just alluding to. So yeah, it was a pretty dark place emotionally and psychologically. Uh, that was our state of affairs just before CLS. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But uh, you know, all all stories are ending really well in our lives and uh, are hopefully going to end very well as well going forward. So. um you know what tell us about uh, this turnaround with the with the cls the christian life seminar 
uh, how did that come to be and uh, what was your experience sure yeah i mean um if you guys like movies you would know you know like there's always a right timing for the climax right so i think uh, god just timed in the right time just before like i said you know cls was around february 2020 if i'm not wrong and um, yeah i mean you know the background with everything we said so um, yeah we were actually hesitant to give it a shot you know what what is this new thing you know community and you know a christian community you know like we didn't really have a very positive uh, you know connotation to this whole thing right but then we still thought might as well give it a shot and then charlie was pretty you know uh, was compelling you know uh, and then we said we said okay let let's give it a shot no harm one day it's all right and um, yeah but honestly you know we were taken aback right on as soon as we entered you know the second floor of that you know uh, place right we we could uh, feel like a very powerful sense of service and love right i mean like even at the registration place i mean uh, the ones who met us made us feel uh, like you know they know us for decades they, we didn't really feel like strangers you know so that was uh, pretty you know uh, shocking you know like my perception of community was you know uh, all my myths around the perception of community was busted right there and um, yeah i mean like there was so much love and joy in the air you know like i'm not even poetic you know that this was really the sense we got in that place and um, yeah even after even after that meet i mean we, normally you meet and then it's done right but then we we love the sense of you know that community and accountability right so we still have our you know groups where we discuss and meet often now virtually of course but you know otherwise and also accountability you know we can we can talk about anything and everything share our struggles share our little triumphs share our little uh, successes spiritually financially uh, professionally anything you know like without any i mean it's a pretty good safe zone without yeah. any uh, judgment or without any condemnation right so we we like that model of both the accountability and community yeah and i would like to add on uh, the one thing that strikes me the most was uh, the attitude of servant leadership so when we reached for the cls it was like they were willing to be of service to us they were will- willing to be of service to others they made us feel at home you know and it's just not though we are unknown to each other the sense of belongingness the sense of being together as one family was the one thing that struck us and we were willing to be part of this big family yep and also you know god has been miraculously working in our lives both individually and as couple yeah. and uh, you know our, our personal and family life has been transformed i could say you know it's pretty much black and white pre cls and post cls or you know pre community and post community and uh, yeah so we we decided to you know like take god seriously and we got committed you know we we committed our lives to the lord and there is so much more peace joy and abundance you know and i'm not even buying anything more <laughs> no more i mean like I, for all you know like we just cut cut cost like we're not spending money on anything you know so it's kind of an oxymoron we live minimal but we feel so abundant right yes. and um, yeah so we look up and also you know the funny thing is um, we started getting i mean we started attending daily masses you know like we we've been we got the grace of attending daily mass you know like geographically and also somehow you know we managed time and started attending and we did meet a couple of uh, yeah a couple of couples in from msc in our church and uh, yeah we, i mean we used to admire the, their kind of devotion you know like a two year old kid with so much reverence and uh, we would give you i mean we started to emulate them you know we started to look up to them and you know maybe like even uh, steal their style of uh, lifestyle right so yeah i mean like that's that's one of the perks of you know uh, knowing them from the community praise god yeah i think i think if i if i were to look at uh, you know if i were to look at um, you know the testimony that you said it's truly it's really wonderful because this uh, you know i think what's beautiful about everything you just said is is god you know it doesn't matter where you are in life you know how broken you may be or how hopeless the situation may be god is still working you know yeah. i mean like if you look back in those times like where you know when you were in that dark place no one would have thought that you're going to come here right but we believe we have hope that god is our savior that is god is always fighting for us and you know i think the beauty about you know your experience with god also was you know he brought you from that obscurity he brought you into the cls 
and he and you all experienced his love through in your own words the service that you received and the love and that acceptance that you received of uh, of uh, you know your brothers and sisters in in, in the community and it's i think it's uh, it brings that whole today's gospel reading of love god with all your heart and all your soul and love your neighbor you know it just encapsulates uh, that so perfectly uh, and i'm really happy i'm really uh, glad that you know you found christ uh, you found his love uh, through the community and and praise god so you know you guys talked a little bit about uh, the community now you know how you choose to emulate and change your lifestyle and center it around god uh, could you talk to talk to us a little bit about you know what it's like today how is life today now you know with christ sure uh, i think the, the life for us today is like we make sure that our day starts with a prayer or we make sure that god is present in each and every part of our day like praying for the grace to love him more to experience his love and that's what i can reflect it in him so it's been a wonderful journey where you know you learn from people and that's what you in you know you work in your life as well yep yeah and uh, yeah i mean we've been more receptive to god's grace you know like that's one thing which is you know uh, started to happen after cls and uh, yeah i mean we, we've been intentional about honoring god and glorifying him and uh, yeah and we we see the grace manifest in our lives in many ways you know um, you know we were able to like i said you know we were talking about spiritually uh, we were we were able to attend mass you know some of you know like i i was the same guy who would make no sense of people attending sunday mass yeah and me attending daily mass is itself you know you can you can understand you know like what kind of grace that is right and uh, we are spending more time in meditation and adoration and you know sometimes a kid joins us and you know she is already you know making speaking praying you know with with her tongues so yeah things like that you know it's 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 a wonderful experience you know not just increasing our quality uh, of life our quality of our relationship with god but that that boils down into quality of relationship with each other you know uh, you know we feel we are more receptive and we are more sensitive to each other's needs and we just go one step beyond to try and do something which might you know uh, make the other person feel good you know even as a, as latest latest as today you know things like that so yeah i mean that's some of the impacts and um, yeah I, since sharel bought rona into the mix i want to talk about that too you know she was born on may 1st when joseph's day and um, you know that was a miracle by itself you know it was right on the you know the the phase of wave 2 if you remember and um, you know we were just separated by one wall of covid patients on the same floor you know like even the nurses were wearing not just a regular pp kit but you know like that double thick rubber pp kits and i'm in my jeans and you know a hoodie like this and uh, you know uh, i said you know i was claiming psalm 91 and i said joseph and joseph it's your day you know uh, take control and we're going to go back home safe and that itself is a miracle you know uh, i'm passing by these these pretty nice nasa scientist level uh, people you know with all their attire and nothing we scraped through all fine and healthy that itself is a miracle you know like we all attribute this to the to being sensitive to the grace of god and um, even financially you know we thought i mean one of those days jimmy was talking about you know finances right so we, we were always contemplating of you know uh, giving beyond uh, 10% and that was that was the day you know we decided yes we should be giving beyond 10% and general generously uh so you know we started honoring god through our finances also one like i said we reduced spending on unwanted things i mean like we naturally that that thing just became redundant you know we would our amazon accounts and every other account is you know almost redundant you won't even see like some 10 entries you know you know probably just see like some maybe 600 700 entries a month so yeah i mean uh, and also we started tithing more than 10% and um you know uh, it's funny it's not even a bargain but it is it's actually a miracle you know uh, a, a monster of a loan you know that we had a house loan i never had a loan before and i don't think i'll have another loan after but um, you know this was this was huge and we were uh, our human minds were logically thinking you know let's do our math both our finance man i mean like we both are in the finance world and uh, i'm a project manager too so you know we thought okay a human uh, logics put a math do some uh, uh, i mean sheets and then well uh, 2030 we'll close it right 
and then uh, miraculously you know we get funds from somewhere and the other and we close this last Ju- july 2020 so almost like god flexing his muscle and saying you know in, in when you don't uh, i mean in your weakness when you know you won't complete it that's when i'll complete it you know so we got liberated from that huge loan and um, yeah i mean even the last year was a blessing professionally not just financially you know we both got promoted we got multiple bonuses there was not a year before this where we got one bonus i mean like we always used to get at least one bonus not more than that but this year we got multiple and uh, a lot of fat cash awards you know it was just blessings over blessings and of course you know uh, just because we got blessed you know we're not gonna misuse that fund but still you know it was like god showering his blessing for you know we honoring him through our finances too and guess what you know after cls uh, physically uh, you know i've been i lost like close to 10 kilos so that, that's been one extra bonus <laughs> and counting Praise so god. yeah i mean uh, above all you know one thing we both realize you know the, the biggest blessing from cls uh, in our life today is um, just being receptive to god's presence and his work in our life you know that that's been beyond everything we just spoke about you know the finance and the baby and the promotions and you know pretty much everything you know his, his presence and his work in our lives you know, we are able to contemplate and see it more real and that's been the biggest blessings of cls Praise God. Guys, I got to tell you, man, I got to tell you, God is planning to do some mighty things in your lives, in and through your lives, uh, these upcoming days this year and uh, all your lives. So praise God for such a powerful testimony. Uh, you know, brothers and sisters, as I was just reflecting on uh, what Marshall and Chad were saying, you know, uh, all their lives, the brokenness that they had uh, and the struggles that, you know, Marshall was sharing about um, was very internalized, right? But the moment he, they took that first step towards God, you know, to offer themselves towards God, uh, God just embraced them wholly and, you know, healed them, bless them, anoint them, you know, with a, with a child as well. And I think what's also very beautiful is, you know, oftentimes we, uh, oftentimes we look at God as someone who always is, give, you know, we need stuff from him. But here is this couple, we are like, you know what, we are going to give back to God. And, uh, you know, because we love, we're going to give him back, uh, uh, you know, out of our love, we're going to give him back. So they talked about tithing, they talked about charity, about more than 10%. And the beauty is, you know, God also, you know, like he said, like Marshall said, flexed his muscles and uh, also continue to bless them with uh, things that they couldn't possibly even imagine. I mean, closing a loan far, be- far, far before your own expectations is, uh, is truly God. It is, uh, God is great and God is marvelous. So uh, praise God, uh, Marshall and Cheryl. And to all of you, brothers and sisters, if you want to have the same experience, if you want to have the same experience in just about 48 hours, brothers and sisters, we are going to have uh, a Christian Life Seminar, a CLS that we've been talking about. Uh, it's starting on 22nd August. Uh, the details of the program, of the seminar can be found in the chat as well as on our MSC Bangalore Facebook page. It's a six, it's a, it's a seminar for six weekends. Uh, you don't want to miss it, brothers and sisters. You will find Christ and you will be transformed. Uh, the contact details as well can be found in the chat and in our uh, Facebook post. Absolutely. So Marshall and Cheryl, I'm sure after listening to your spectacular testimony, the audience would be wondering uh, what it is that they can expect out of this or what could they tell their family and friends who they would like to invite? What would you like to share with them? Um, I would tell, you know, be part of this big family. You will be all at home and and you will be able to reflect Christ. So join MFC Bangalore. Not just Bangalore, but any MFC. Any MFC. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we, we, I mean, this is, this is a tangible experience we spoke right after, you know, it's not even been a little more than a year. And this is what happened to us. I'm sure, you know, if it can happen to us, it can happen to anybody. Yeah. If it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. That's how, that's how I think about this. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can I can go on explaining honey for you. I can experience how it tastes, how it feels, you know, what it does to you, you know, all of that. But until you uh, taste it yourself, I don't think you know that experience is complete. So don't hesitate, don't give excuses. You know, of course you'll have ten other plans, but you know we're just product of our choices. So go ahead and sign up, and then you'll never regret. Praise God! Thank Praise you God. so much, uh, Marshall and Sharon. Thank you so much, guys.
So with that, brothers and sisters, we would like to leave you with a quote on our final day of Off the Record by Venerable Fulton Sheen. Ever since the days of Adam, man has been hiding from God and saying, God is hard to find. But this Sunday, brothers and sisters, we assure you that you will find God. It's just a registration away. Please do click on the link and register yourself. With that, finally, it's Brandon and Dhania signing out. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marshall and Charlie. Bye. God bless you all. Take care. Have a great weekend. God bless you. See you on Sunday. Thank you. Good day, all. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.